welcome back everyone so today i will be showing you that how you can transfer the file between two different laptop or pc or the same wi-fi network so if you are connected on the same wi-fi network no matter you have two computer three or four then you can easily transfer any kind of file like photos or videos without using any kind of tool or software so without any delay let's quickly get started now before starting guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification and you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem okay so right now you can see that i'm on windows 11 machine and let's consider this one as computer a and the another computer that we will be using will be windows 10 and let's consider this as computer b now on both this computer what you have to do right click on the windows icon then click on settings then here from the left hand menu option you will have to click on network and internet now scroll down and you will find advanced network setting click on it and then you have to look for advanced sharing setting click on it again and here you will be getting three different categories like private network public and all network so click on private network first make sure that both these options are being enabled then click on public network again make sure both these options are being enabled then click on all network enable public folder sharing and disable the password protected sharing once you are done now you can go back to computer b do the same thing over here right click on the windows icon go to settings click on network and internet scroll down Click here on network and sharing center. Then click on change advanced sharing settings. And here again, you can click on private. Make sure turn on network discovery has been enabled. And also turn on automatic setup will has been checked. Do the same with the file and printer sharing. Turn it on. Now come to guest or public. Enable both these options. Then come to all network. And turn off the password protected sharing. Once you have done, you have to click on save changes. Okay, so now let's come back to computer A. Now what you have to do here, open up your file explorer, then go to any of the location, right click, hover up to new, click on folder and rename it as shared folder A because we are working on computer A. So once you have created, now make a right click on it. Then you have to click on properties. Now here from the top menu option, you will have to click on sharing. Then you will have to click on share. Now here from the drop down, click on the drop down and choose everyone. Click on add. Once added, give the read and write permission. And click on share again. Click on done. Now here click on advanced sharing. Check this box of share this folder. Then click on permission. Make sure it's been selected to everyone and give it full control. Click on apply and click on OK. Apply. OK. And now here in the network path, you can see this path over here. OK, so you will have to copy this path and then you will have to go to the another computer. That is my computer B. And here again, you have to bring up the file explorer and here you have to paste the same path that you have copied. Now hit the enter key and the share folder will now be accessed. Right now you can see that the folder is empty because we have not transferred any kind of data. So if I again go back to computer A and close it, open the shared folder A, you can see the folder is empty. So what I will do here, I will add some kind of file in order to show you that how exactly this work. So I will be adding some wallpaper here. Okay, so I have added in my computer A. So this can be anything you can add any kind of file any kind of pictures any kind of videos for the demonstration purpose i am only adding the images over here all right so once it's been added in the shared folder now go back to your another computer that is computer b and you can see now that the same images are being displayed over here so now from here you can copy all these files and then you can go to any of the location like on desktop and you can paste the file which you have copied so this is one of the best and the easiest way to transfer any kind of file from computer A to computer B connected over the same Wi-Fi network. Now let me show you one more thing 
if I go to my computer B and delete all these files now, so you will find that it has been disappeared automatically from my computer B automatically because it was shared in the shared folder. But if I go to my desktop, I can find all these files because I have just copied to my desktop. That is my local location. Similarly, what else you can do on computer B as well, you can go to any location and create a folder here so that you can transfer the file from this computer to another computer. And this folder, I will rename it as shared folder B. Again, I will right click on it, go to properties, go to sharing, click on share, click on the drop down, choose it to everyone, click on add, give read and write permission, click on share, click on done, click on advanced sharing, check the box of share this folder, click on permission, allow the permission, click on apply, ok, apply, ok. Again, you can see the network path of this computer. Okay, so I can copy it and now I can go back to my computer A in the file explorer and I can paste the same path over here and now this time if I hit the enter key, the shared folder will now be coming up but it shows me empty because I have not added any kind of file so far. Alright, so let me show you that how exactly it works now. Again, if I bring up my computer B and for the demo purpose, I will be moving this picture in the shared folder and as soon as I paste it you can see that it has been appeared on my computer A. So this is how guys you can transfer the file from one computer to another computer even on multiple computer connected on the same Wi-Fi network. So that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.